breakfast we're doing uh, bacon, hash browns, and eggs with a side of some really terrible toast because Walmart was out of the good bakery toast. So we'll probably be having Wonder Bread. We should put the hash browns in this one. So our bacon and our potatoes are just about done here. And then we'll throw a quick couple of eggs in here. Yeah, looks like Granny's got some coffee percolating over here again. She can't go without her coffee. A pot of ale. Keep the doctor away, I suppose. Okay, so we just finished breakfast up and we're gonna eat it here real quick. And then uh, we're gonna get on the road and head over to the other camp where all of our family's staying in the, the, the trailer park camp. <laughs> and uh, I really have nothing against trailer parks. There's nothing wrong with trailer parks, but um, we're more secluded at our house than we are at the campsite that they're at. So, you know, we like to get out and camp and kind of enjoy nature and be able to hear wildlife and not necessarily hear people's generators running or motorcycles and traffic going down the highway. So, oh, Clara's up, barely. So, anyway, um, we'll be out of here probably in the next half hour or so and we'll be headed towards Custer. Is it National Park? I think it's Custer National Park, but you guys, I know you'll correct me if it is a state park. So, we'll find out soon enough. It's 8.30 a.m. right on the dot, and we are leaving our camp, headed over to the rest of our group's camp to see if they're all ready to go to Custer Park. I said that I would be there at 9.17 precisely, but we've been kind of hanging around our camp for about two hours here this morning, and we're getting kind of stir crazy, so I think it's time we go ahead and head over that way. It's a door lock to the camper. So stay tuned here and, and uh, we'll get some Custer State Park on here. Or Custer National Park, we're still really not sure. So this morning, Connor and I and Brandy and pretty much everybody looked everywhere for my jacket. It's a pretty nice, uh, you know, like OGO windbreaker type style jacket. And on our drive home last night from the other camp, I'm thinking, man, who's been all the way back in here where our camp is? Because it looked like somebody lost a black trash bag. Well, we're driving through here this morning. That wasn't a black, black trash bag. It was my OGO jacket. So uh, I found my jacket before we need it. So it's supposed to rain today, possibly. Larry, you got your seatbelt on? So anyway, thought that was exciting and you might want to know. All right, it's official. Custer is a state park and Mount Rushmore is a national park. And we are about five miles from Custer now. Anybody else add anything? <laughs> There's buffalo there. There's buffaloes there. painted on buffaloes. There's painted buffaloes all over the little town of Custer. They are pretty cool. So we're out at Custer National, or I'm sorry, we're out at Custer State Park, and uh, we've traveled this road here for about the last probably six or seven miles, and uh, really is pretty cool down here. And we've got some nice cloud cover. You 
can see we got a little trio of Jeeps over here. We're not, uh, we don't have our full group today. Some of them didn't want to come here. They've already been here. Uh, but after this, we're going to head over to Mount Rushmore and we'll get some footage over there. And hopefully here we'll see some wildlife and uh, we'll get some video of that when we can show it to you guys. So stay tuned in here. It's pretty cool. Huh? We're gonna get some buffalo shit on our tires here to so we can show that we've been in South Dakota. Just leaving uh, some kind of like the, the back entrance of the Custer here, and we're trying to get back out on the Legion Lake. The road it's, we're by Legion Lake, and we're trying to get out here. We're going to take some kind of iron road or something or another like that, and kind of take the back way into Mount Rushmore. And I'm pretty sure it goes through some tunnels and things like that, so it should be a pretty cool ride. So we'll get it all on video here. As you can see, straight ahead of us, that's Mount Rushmore. We just drove through the tunnel here. It's straight across the other side. It might be kind of hard to see on the dash cam, uh, but we'll get a close up on our uh, camera for you as well. So you should just walk up. Oh, 
leave a Mount Rushmore. Pretty cool. Probably not worth the hype. What? Nah. What do you think? It's worth the hype? It's cool. It's not that cool. It's like one little... It's cool. It's like one little walkway and you walk up there and you... But you can see everything else from right down the road here on the other mountain. Well, yeah. And it's, it's cool. free. So, I guess it's cool to say you've been to Mount Rushmore and we got the sticker to put on the Jeep. Um, so those parts are cool, but other than that, don't make a trip to South Dakota for it. It's not right. Yeah, but the hot dogs don't take near as long as cook. That's why I put them on you. Yeah, those are okay, well, those no. are raw. Hot dogs are free cooked. So technically this is night number three and we're down here at our primitive camp. It's still just us and Fred and Michelle here and uh, the rest of our group should be coming in tomorrow or the next night. We'll see what happens. And uh, we're still kind of planning on possibly doing a ride this evening. We'll see where we get with that. We're going to get some food real quick. We've had a long day over at Custer State Park and Mount Rushmore. So we're going to make up some quick dinner and then uh, see what sounds good to us here in about an hour. Stay tuned. So it's about 7 p.m. and we've ran into another one of these little South Dakota rain surprise storms. And uh, we had our brats out there on our grill and we were all sitting around the fire and kind of all of a sudden this storm came on us and it's a pretty, uh, pretty gnarly one. So, we've moved in here to our trusty little grill under our awning for now. And uh, we're going to try to finish cooking dinner here. And then we'll probably hop in the Jeep where it's dry and go do some riding this stuff because it's always a lot of fun. All right, so it's about 8.30. 7.30, is it 7? 7.30. Yeah, the clocks are still messed up. It's about 7.30 p.m. We just finished up dinner. We had some, just some brats and some hot dogs over the fire. And uh, we've had a pretty bad little storm kind of come in on us. So um, it's gotten darker a lot quicker than it should have. And the trail should be slick and wet. It should be a lot of fun. So we're going to get out here and see if we can do a little trail riding before it gets too dark on us. Somebody left it on. What is that? <laughs> We're gonna tell a scary story. That's better. Oh yeah. That's 
So we were going to try to make it down here to this um, Slate Creek Dam. <clears throat> We've been driving for just uh, just about an hour here, and the sunlight beat us because um, we got within what was it, two miles or three miles? Three. We came up here to this to the sign. It says still another three miles, um, and we have been on this road for probably I don't know how many miles, but I thought it only said nine miles. I guess we just been. You just gotta take it really slow because it's a narrow road and it's pretty rough and there's a lot of stuff to see out here. So uh, it's getting a little, you know, it's kind of getting hairy and it's getting kind of dark. And I am by myself tonight. Um, so the last thing you really want to do is venture out too far by yourself and uh, have a problem because we just end up having to camp right in here, which is not comfortable for people. So. We're going to head on back to camp for the night, call it an evening, and then uh, I've saved the waypoints here in the GPS, and we will come back tomorrow and check this Slate Creek Dam out, and uh, we'll get some footage of it. So, y'all have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. So we kind of thought maybe we were turning in for the night, but we were wrong. <laughs> we put uh, our camp in the GPS because we didn't come from camp. We just figured we'd take it back to us. And it takes us and turn, you know, it shows that this is a road for the next two miles. And you can see in the video, um, video? kind of what we're dealing with. Yeah, it's on the front. Oh, okay. Good. So this is the road that it brought us on. And guys, this doesn't even look like a jeep trail this is like a four-wheeler trail and it's calling it a road so um, we're gonna do what we can here we may end up having to just turn back and kind of backtrack our trail all the way back out to Hill City and then go to our camp from there because the last thing we want to do is get stuck out here in the middle of the night on something like this and the trails here are we just had some big rains so this stuff is what turned is that? in that's a skunk so we're going to zone. Ugh. The trails here are uh, wet and soupy kind of right now, so getting stuck uh, may be an option as well. So stay tuned, it could get really exciting tonight. Roll them up. Okay, so our worst fears came true. We've literally drove all the way back in here on this road that uh, Google Maps brought us on, which, you know, shame on me for using Google Maps out here in South Dakota in the hills. 
We get all the way up here, we drive up this steep hill, and I'm thinking, okay, we're almost through it. We just gotta get up this one little steep hill and we'll be done. And we get to the top of that steep hill and it's a metal grate um, snowmobile trail. And we had to back all the way down this steep hill in the dark. So, we're going back out the way we came in and we're getting our butts back to camp before we get in more trouble than we should. So, if we have any more trouble, we'll stay in touch. Okay, so we made it back to this China Gulch Road, which is the one we came in on. And we still got a good little hike out of here, probably five, six miles. And uh, I, like I said, I'm just uneasy because we're alone. Uh, me, when I say alone, I mean we're in one rig. So uh, we're headed back out to the beginning of this. And um, I just sent some drop pins to the other riders that we have riding with us back at camp. Um, just in case something was to happen. but. That was pretty wicked. We got back in there and um, we had to back all the way out in the dark. Um, so anyway, we're a little, we feel a little better now. We're back on this main road and we're just gonna kind of ease on out of here and, uh, and get back to camp. So we'll check in with y'all later or we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we've made it back to camp. We're gonna close our evening out here where it's calm and peaceful and there's not murderers around trying to take us out. <laughs> and uh, we'll probably tell some stories. Connor's going to tell us a scary story about four wheeling out in the South Dakota woods here in a few minutes. Okay. And then uh, we'll check back with you in the morning when we go to have breakfast so you can see what we're eating. Does anybody want anything? Brad, Michelle? You want to tell them about the crackheads across the street? <laughs> I think they're gone. Crackheads moved out. <laughs> We don't have anything to worry about. There was somebody down in here in a Mercedes S-Class today. A white Mercedes S-Class. <laughs> Went by here about 35 miles an hour. <laughs> Trail riding. So uh, we'll watch for them. Fred's going to blow their tires out. Uh, but we'll see you in the morning. What's my slogan? Uh, drive reckless. Trail. Take chances. No, you told me that people wouldn't like that one. Oh. Stay safe on the trails. I don't know. And watch out for Roy or the bison. <laughs> watch out for the bison. He's a two-ton bison. Mm -hmm.